Okay, look, I'm a technologist, and one of the things that really causes a lot of anxiety is this. Nothing worse than having that battery life just when you think you really needed it. And so we're going to explore a little bit more a new type of battery, a battery that uh, doesn't run out, that doesn't wear out, and arguably could last forever. Because the current batteries, as much as we love them, they're toxic, they're hard to dispose of, and in the wrong environment, they're explosive. So one of the battery technologies we're going to be exploring today is something called a supercapacitor. And so I've invited Dr. Han Lin to uh, speak to us about that. So Dr. Lin, tell us about uh, your supercapacitor. My pleasure. When it comes to energy storage, like John has introduced, we are working with something called supercapacitor, which is made of graphene. The supercapacitor can be charged really fast in seconds, and they can live forever, so it never wears out. And in addition, they are environmental friendly because they are made of all carbon-based material, doesn't involve any toxic and rare earth elements. And in addition, you don't have to worry about its explosion or it catch fires. It's totally safe. One of the things I was asking, so it's carbon, could you eat it? And he said you could, but you probably couldn't digest it very well. But uh, carbon is actually quite common. I mean, you've seen it in your pencils, you've seen it on the barbecue, but this is a special type of carbon. So maybe you want to explain that part of it. Yeah. So we normally see carbons like a very dark foam or see in our pencils. So graphene is a carbon-based material. What makes it so unique? Because it's a flat sheet. So it's a two-dimensional material, very thin. It has only a layer of atoms. So that makes it stronger than steel, more conductive than copper. And that's why it's so efficient for energy storage. It's amazing material. It's one atom thick if you really want it to be. Here's an example. So this is actually a working example, right? Yes. Of, of, of your battery. So tell us more about that. So what I'm holding in hand is one prototype we have made, the graphene supercapacitors in our lab. So it's actual thin and flexible. Then we can use it to charge LED lights for 40 minutes with only a few seconds of charge. Which is amazing. Which effectively, if you had a mobile phone, you could charge it in minutes instead of hours. Or if you had a larger device, like a, a, a car, you could charge that in, in minutes as well. But tell us more about the possibilities for the graphene capa uh, supercapacitor. So imagine this is a just small piece. Then we can have millions of these things stack them up then it's all able to charge your electric vehicles. So currently, we have to wait for hours until our car is fully charged. But in future, with graphene supercapacitors, we are able to char fully charge our vehicles uh, when we are buying a cup of coffee. And we can do more than that. We can pull that onto electric aircraft reduce the weight, and let them travel a longer distance. They're amazing, absolutely amazing. So one of the challenges we have with graphene at the moment is it's very slow to produce and it's very expensive. So can you tell us about the research that you're doing in that, with regard to that? So current, it used to be a big problem how we can manufacture graphene in quantity. And currently, we solve this problem by invent this laser 3D uh, printing technique. So what you see here is the laser produced graphene in real time. And you see those dark bits, it's actually where the graphene is produced. Then what it is printing is the supercapacitor structure, which I put into this pocket. And you see, it is very thin and flexible. So I have an example of that. This is from your lab, but this is actually a different application of graphene.
Can you tell us more about that? Because this one's particularly interesting to me. So what you are seeing here is another application of graphene. You can see it's still very thin and flexible, but it's for a different purpose. It's for water desalination. So imagine you are in a remote area. You only have seawater. What you can do is pour your seawater through it. Then you'll have drinkable water on the other side. Just absolutely amazing. So it's pretty amazing. So believe it or not, Australia is actually one of the leading nations in terms of graphene production. So Dr. Lin works with a whole bunch of researchers to explore different applications and uses for graphene at scale. So tell us more about this next slide. This is what we designed as a smart city. What's unique about this? In the city, every building will be self-sustained. So the electricity will be harvested by graphene enhanced renewable energy technology. Then all the energy can be stored in the supercapacitors and for you to use. You can do more than that. So you, you, can, uh, you don't have to rely on silver water supply anymore then you can produce your drinkable water by seawater, use graphene filters. So our dream is for those people who is living in remote area, they don't have electricity, not to mention the drinkable water supply. What we can offer is build them such a self-sustained house. They, they can enjoy their living. It's quite amazing. You we were discussing behind the back of the house here, and uh, you can apply it into paint, and you can apply it into glass, so the entire house can be a solar cell. It's quite amazing. Yeah, not only you can do like a tra semi-transparent glasses to change your light lighting condition, or also harvest the renewable energy at the same time. But imagine in this smart house, you have sensors everywhere, but it's very integrated. You can see them. But what you can do is customize your environment, saying what is your favorite. And those sensors will sense the lighting, humidity, and temperature for you and adjust accordingly. It's amazing. It really is up to your imagination when you apply your thinking where this could potentially go. It's just extraordinary. But it's not just in the fixed home. You can also do it out and about. So let's talk about Frank here. He is my friend. He's actually coming here tonight, but I cannot see where he sits. <laughs> <laughs> but he loves running. So that's why I told him, come on, Frank. I can build you an Iron Man suit in one day with graphene supercapacitors. Then he asked, what makes it so unique? So you wear your batteries, and it's more than that. You have graphene sensors to sense your heart rate, blood pressures, and even your body temperature to tell you if you are healthy enough. But we can do more than that. You can wear a pair of shoes with graphene sensors underneath, then it will do gait analysis to help you to improve your t techniques in running. But what's more, it can analyze the early symptoms of disease, like diabetes. So it's actually monitor your health all the time. It's amazing stuff. And if you think about it that way, you can actually generate body, uh, sorry, you can actually generate energy by the movement of your body. That's pretty amazing. But uh, yes. thanks for your time. We appreciate that effort. Can you give your hand to Dr. Hanlin? Thank you.